Okay, so the gameplay I used in yesterday's video was a Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, and I think it was about 17 for 4, um, a team deathmatch, just a standard 6v6 team deathmatch. And I kind of knew when I was putting that gameplay together that it wasn't actually the best one I'd acquired. And I was sort of looking at it thinking, should I put this one up? And the time frame sort of suited the length of the commentary, and I thought, oh, I'll put it together, it's fine. I'm sure they will forgive me, because I know people do say to me, I don't really watch your gameplays, I just sort of potter about and, um, you know, just listen to what you got to say. I'm doing other things, I'm, I don't know, making dinner, or uh, doing some of my work or homework, and I just listen to what you got to say. How you can multitask by doing that, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I knew it wasn't a very good gameplay, but I took a bit of a, I took a spin of the wheel. Now, obviously that gameplay was taken from my new Xbox, and if you remember back to a few videos ago, I said, I've got a new Xbox, I've had to start a whole new gamertag because I couldn't take over my, you know, my previous gamertags because it kept asking for passwords, and I've got that many passwords on that many different things, I just couldn't remember, and I couldn't be asked breaking it down to going onto the uh, specific internet site to get it all ported. I just couldn't be bothered. I just, you know, I just didn't care for it. I just wanted to get the Xbox up and running and play. You know, it was the best of a bad bunch and like I said, I took a spin of the wheel and somebody called me up on it. I was like, oh no, I knew it would happen. I'm really anal about stuff like that. I like everything to be precise and perfect and um, hopefully sort of fit the bill. And this guy, I don't know if he was a newcomer or something, but he said, well, your gameplays don't look very good. Here, add me on Xbox Live and uh, add my game attack, and I can give you some gameplays. <laughs> and it's like, no, thank you very much. I really appreciate the offer, but I'm okay. I thought, okay, I better uh, up my game a little bit and put a better one up there. So this is a Modern Warfare 3 Team Backpack um, 40 Plus Tedium, which I acquired also with my new game attack. So hopefully you guys who do enjoy the gameplay will enjoy this one a little bit more as I carry my team to victory. <laughs> you didn't see it there, I just fist bumped myself. That's uh, that's pretty weird. Now, okay, forget about the gameplay, I don't want to talk about that. What I really want to talk about is on Twitter sometimes, you know, people sort of tweet me things and, you know, tweet me questions and whatever. And I try to be as, you know, sometimes I miss people because I get so many tweets and I might miss somebody out. But occasionally people tweet me a video and say, oh, have a look at this. It's not really like, check this video out, please leave me feedback and stuff. Because I've said before, I don't feel qualified to give people feedback. I'm, I don't feel qualified. I need feedback myself sometimes. So I can't really ask people to give me feedback and then go on to other people's, you know, channels and say, this is where you went wrong. However, when it's a, a sort of regular sub, and I do recognize people, you know, I've been doing this thing long enough now that I recognize the people who come and go all the time and are very active. If they, you know, tweet me a video and say, can you just have a look at this? Or, you know, check this out, this was quite fun. I'll, if I've got time, I'll go and watch it. And if I really enjoy it, I'll click a like on it and, you know, leave a comment. And if I really, really enjoy it, and it'll probably take me a few watches of a few videos, I'll subscribe and think, yeah, that's going to be worth my time to watch some of them videos. I think I might enjoy that. And there was a guy uh, a few days ago, and he's done it a couple of times. He's like sort of linked me up to a couple of his videos. And I watched one, um, which funnily enough was talking about, do shout outs really work? I think, I think that was the one he linked me to. I could be wrong about that. But anyway, I ended up watching that one. And I thought, this is good. I like this guy's style, you know, really laid back. Hopefully I'm not wrong in guessing Southern Irish accents. Really nice, really nice music to the gameplay and a good gameplay as well. And a very good subject that he picked, very intelligent, mature commentary. And I really enjoyed that, you know, but I didn't subscribe because like I say, I like to have a few looks. I don't like to dive straight in. I've done these kind of things before where I see people I only see afterwards, but generally people say, check my videos out and see what you think, and I'll say, yes, I'll subscribe, and I give them a shout out, and then all of a sudden, they, you know, they just cease being active, and it's like, oh, bloody hell, I've, <laughs> you know, I've mentioned this guy, people have gone and subbed, and then they fucking just stop posting, that's really good, that makes me look a bit of a mug. And, you know, this guy's been actively uploading and doing a pretty damn good job from the videos I saw, and on Twitter the other day, he said, just have a look at this video if you want. I thought, I'll go and quite gladly watch that, and I watched this video, and it was like, this is worth a subscription and I really wanted you know it was from the heart I wanted to get this guy out there you know because I do see these people sometimes unfortunately just sweep under the radar and never get the recognition that they deserve you know and I see also on Twitter people saying oh you know there's no good commentators left where are all the good commentators gone and it's like they are out there there are good people out there they're good people that have nice accents and nice tones about their voice and intelligent commentaries that get you thinking that don't have any intentions on doing the news in the future <laughs> 
Oh my god, I really need to let that go. But yeah, I decided this is the time to give this guy his break. And the reason I'm doing it is for selfish reasons amongst others. The first one being is because it's going to make me feel good about myself that I did something nice for somebody. The second one is, is because I think this guy deserves a big break. Or at least to get his foot on the ladder and get a good bump of subscribers like mine who are active and intelligent and can give him some good feedback and some good positivity to drive him forward and create more good videos. And thirdly, because I think you would actually really enjoy what he does. If you like what I do, if you like my videos, if you like my sense of humor sometimes, and if you like the things I have to say and whatever, whatever you like about me, I think this guy's got and I think he's gonna do pretty damn well and I think you will really enjoy it. So his name is Higgsy007 and I'm gonna put his link in the description. Please guys, go and check him out, go and watch his videos. I'll put a link to his video in there, the last one that I watched of him and tell him Apocalypse sent you. Because I legitimately hate it when I see these good channels and these good commentators go under the radar. Especially when they put so much hard work in and so much thought into their content, it almost doesn't seem fair. They have these bigger guys leapfrogging their channels in subscribers when their content isn't even a contair as good. So go check out Higgsy, 007 in the description. Thank you very much for watching the gameplay, I hope it was a little bit better than the last one. Apocalypse done.